Dude, I love Crescent Flash. It's so good. Never gets old. I'm assuming I can just use my items, right? Yeah. Similar to the Kisara Dohalim tag team thing we did. It's so hard to break you. I should look for another move that brings me to the air. Elusive Deity's hitbox is so weird. It might actually be your only one. Yeah, it is your only one. Okay, that's really unfortunate. The hitbox for it is very weird. Ow! Good thing I have nine of these. I healed myself. Reflect on thy sins. Oh, my perfect dodge. Get me the execution casting. Reflect on thy sins. All right, that's not as quick as I wanted, but it works. Hit me, hit me. Easy. Oh, Lagiel, the damage is real, girl. No. That works. In a bind. Negative gate. Nope. This is going insanely well. Elusive deity. No. Elusive deity. Soaring blast. This. I wish I had an over limit to finish off. It doesn't look like I'm gonna make it though, because Lagiel has hardly ever hit me. My reach is even lit. Crescent flash. Elusive deity. No. Negative gate. Negative gate. Oh, double negative gate. Let's go. Hey, Lagil, I need you to give up. Oh, that was close. Can you take it? Don't get too careless here. Do not get too careless. Alright, now heal. Does Go even get cure? I do not remember. I'm kind of shocked he doesn't have fairy circle though. I don't think I saw it in the skill panel. Oh, you're done. No, I said you're done. Miguel, give up. Just give up. Alright, that works. Darn it, I was no match for you. As expected of a former lord, your strength is something else. You did well. Your moves were quite impressive as well. You must have taken an extraordinary effort to reach that level. That means the final victory is mine! <sighs> Though it's hardly a satisfying feeling. Hmm. Right, 60 wins and 61 losses. I lose. <sighs> oh, I was so close. After all that effort too. Zara, I need comfort and consolation. <coughs> Wait, Zara. <coughs> The one who wins your affection is a true victor. Now come to me, Zara. Behold, I have even delectable delicacies. What? What? She won't even look in my direction. Nice one! Zara came to me. That means I win the battle of who she likes more. Doesn't that mean you're like tied again? No! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> Doholim's loss is your loss, Kisara. That means we end with 61 wins and 61 losses. It's a tie. Right back where we started. Dohalim? What was even the point of that side quest? Sorry. I apologize. I must have been blinded by conceit. Lord Dohalim, it was a good fight to the end. Next time, I'd like to compete against yourself. I'd, li I'd like to compete against yourself, not on Kisara's behalf. Okay. Mm, I love a challenge, and I'm always prepared to face you as a worthy rival. What? Her what? Hold it right there. I'm Lagil's most worthy rival. No one else could ever. Okay. Our rivalries have already been settled. Starting today, Lord Dohalim is my new rival. Intriguing. Let's make our next competition one of heat endurance. And when that happens, I'll join as well. I'm not giving up my position as your rival. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. I love the Kisara and Dohalim. I love their chemistry with each other. Performance was very impressive. 
who could have anticipated she'd have even stronger armor than before? I'll need to make a note to train more for future bouts. I think getting closer with Zare would be faster than training. Her armor was gold. <laughs> Other than that, it looked the exact same. Captain Gisara, Lord Dohalim, I'll strive not to be a burden. This will boost the service corps morale. Good stuff. Uh, we can probably do, um, if I can figure out how to do this quest, I would do it. But the thing is, I can't. Oh, it's right there. Okay, let's go do this really quick. The side quest has been hanging out for a while. And then it's off to Uzlebek. I was going to go fight the dinosaur, but we honestly fought so many Gigan Zoogles, and with the Stormbringer being strong, I feel like we might wait a little longer for the dinosaur. I think that'd be best. Where could that little... Wait, look! A rat pig is being attacked by Zoogles! That must be Wilbur. Oh my god, it's so adorable! I was not expecting it to be that cute. Hey, Brimwell, bad time to not be ready, girl. I can carve through armor. No rage laser. In a bind. Rage. I don't even literally just said rage. A newborn future. The past is hereby severed. It's severed. I am low. Rimbo, what are you doing? Where's your charge? I need it. Man, Rimbo just doesn't want to get her charge today. Big mistake. Alright, bad Mystic Art attempt. Oh, Rimbo, you're finally ready when like none of them are casting. I may have bit off more than I could chew. Charge, charge. That's not really the charge I wanted, but I'll take it. Scream, bathed in blood. Punch. Alright, no need for Rimwell. Yo, Maelstrom is sick. Come here, buddy. Your turn to go. I'm ready. All yours, Chisara. <sighs> now, now, it's safe to come out, Wilbur. Bet you were scared, huh? Come here, little guy. Ow, oh, you've got away with animals, lol. <laughs> I imagine saving his bacon has a lot to do with it. I'm pretty sure this has got to be Wilbur. We ought to bring him back to the ranch. Alright, glad we found Wilbur. Now we can get this side quest done. And then head on over to Ulzebek. And then at that point, everything will be done except the one where we need pork. <laughs> Wilbur, a eh, Zilchris, is back safe and sound, and it's all thanks to you. And not a scratch on him either. A happy rat pig makes for a happy ending. What? Sounds like the name of some lord. Anyway, I'm glad we found him safe and sound. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. I'll never forget your kindness. Especially you, Law. I knew someone who is loved by animals like you would surely find Wilbur for me. So you know. If you don't mind. May I hold your hand? Huh? Huh? <laughs> uh, yes, ma'am. Please. <laughs> Thank you, here I go. That's just... No way. So you really like... Nice job. Right then, thanks to you, Law, I finally found the courage to confess my true feelings. Huh? Huh? Oh, Wilbur, you're just so cute, that wonderful pink fur, I just can't get enough. That's what you meant? <laughs> This young lady really loves Wilbur, a eh, Zilchris, regardless of his species. <laughs> what? 
Look, Bogdal, Wilbur is looking at me with loving eyes. Oh my. Uh -huh. I thought she was in love with me. <laughs> I guess you're only loved by animals. Now, now, don't be so down, kid. Look, the other rat pigs are gathering around you as well. <laughs> They're licking me all over again. Damn it, my clothes are getting soaked. Hey, Roomwell, isn't there an astral art to attract the girls? Of course not. And anyway, you're popular with animals. Isn't that fantastic? I want to be popular with humans. Jeez, your thoughts are so predictable. Besides, honestly, I wouldn't tell you if one did exist. Huh? Did you say something, Roomwell? What? Nothing. Hey, don't come near me in your soggy clothes. If I'm not mistaken, it seems like you're already loved by someone, kiddo. <laughs> yeah, it's like incredibly obvious. Dude, I like Law and Brimwell as a sibling thing, though. And I'm just gonna be real with you. Pain being so beloved by animals. Wish I were this popular with humans. You really want tons of people fawning over you? Just to see what it's like. But really, the truth is, I'd be fine with just one special person. Uh, oh, I is that so? Is that so? Hey, didn't we find a recipe that? Yeah. Tales of Arise is like in the very beginning it establishes like oh Law and Brimwell are like more of a sibling thing, but at the end of the game I feel like they really they tried to bring a romance with it, which I feel like it works better. Like I I liked it better as a sibling bond. I feel like the late game of Arise and also this DLC a little bit of that kind of implies like oh like Brimwell has feelings for Law, etc. And vice versa. But I personally like it a lot better as a sibling, a brother-sister thing. I think it works better. How do I get back to... Okay, it's here. You go here and you just go straight there. But I think the game is going to let me fast travel. Is it just that one side quest we have to do? Yeah, we just need pork. So we can get that whenever. Back to Ulzebek. Oh no, like, opening cutscene, just straight into it. Luckily, it's still dependent on imports from other countries. It can't be helped because there are no good local products. Let's switch up our character. Yeah, Dohalim and take out... Evkisara and Law sit in the back. What's the matter, Law? It's just weird how quiet it is. Are you sure? Isn't this how it normally is? Usually there's a little more going on. Like building and repairing houses and stuff. But there's none of that. Now that you mention it, you're right. Did they halt the repairs or something? Well, if it isn't the Blazing Sword, and Law too! Just call me Elfin. But that's no way to speak to our hero and savior! <clears throat> uh, hey, uh, what's going on? It looks like the construction's on hold. It is. Is that why you're here? No, I was just wondering. Mind explaining? You know how the Crimson Crows are in charge of reconstruction? Well, they've been busy lately. 
Which means the repairs on my house are taking forever. My family's tired of waiting so long. We could make some progress if we at least had materials. But those damn Zoogles. So you want us to do something about that? Yes. You can find what we need in the Iglia Wastes. Should be a cakewalk for a hero, right? Talk about getting carried away. Sheesh. I guess this is what heroes do now. Alfin. Still, we can't ignore this. Come on. Oh, he's those dang Zoogles, man. <sighs> Something's bothering you again. People rely on us because we're heroes. And we just drop everything to help them because it's expected of us. Is that really the way it should be? Yeah, that doesn't seem very fair at all. Pe people suck. People be selfish. Alright, it's growing nicely. They're much bigger and juicier than before. Temperatures have dropped and harvesting is going much better. A blessing of the merging of two worlds. Life's. I've been working under orders since I was born, so even if I'm told I can do whatever I want, I don't feel like I'm doing anything. Or I don't feel like doing anything. What's the point of working Things now? Seems to be improving for these people. Even their clothes are higher quality. They're still not as well off as some other places, but they're getting there. Chickens are laying a lot of eggs now, perhaps the, because the weather is getting milder. Now I'm worried if we can eat them all. Hey, guess what? I looked outside the city and saw a humongous zoogle. Don't worry, the Crimson Crows will take care of it. The Blazing Sword is here too. I know we're lucky to have someone to sleep on like Mosgul, but I wish we had our own house. Being shoved in one place while other people makes me feel like I'm a slave again. Someone. Wait, wait, let me. Seems his brother, who always taken care of, is. Who he's always taken care of is having some trouble. Zoogles have increased around the fag and ruins, so there are all sorts of problems. Yeah, there might be someone who could use our help. I'm the Blazing Sword, you're a Renin soldier. No way, I want to be the Blazing Sword, too. Can't all be the Blazing Sword. How can I help you? Crap! Damn it, how to bring it how to bring it anyway. At this rate, I can't place it there anymore. Oh, hey! What are you muttering about? Is something wrong? Wrong? Well, yeah. The truth is I want to retrieve some clothes from near the fog and ruins. Really? Clothes? Why would there be clothes around there? Didn't you get your clothes from the fog and ruins? Fagin, Foggin, however you pronounce it. They've been thrown away by Renans. They got rid of the Zoogles inside and started living there. Sometimes they throw away clothes they don't need anymore. Probably clothes that were already in the ruins. Yeah, now that you mention it, there were some clothes in there, but aren't they damaged? Well, I'm a tailor after all. Clothes with stains or holes are still perfectly wearable with a little washing and mending. I guess... There still aren't enough supplies in Calaglia. People wear any clothes they can get their hands on. Yeah, and Brendan clothes are really nice quality, as you'd imagine. Even used clothes can be stylish with the right touch. But apparently, Renans would never dream of wearing anything used. They just throw stuff away willy-nilly. So I've been going there to collect clothes periodically when there aren't any Renan guards around. <sighs> with that wasteful attitude of theirs, what do they expect to do if they run out of things to wear? They can't let go of their senses of entitlement from living at the top of a system based on the enslavement of others. Well, whatever the reason, their trash is my treasure, that's for hmm. sure. There's just one problem. There's been a lot of Zoogles gathering around Fagin Ruins lately. So that's what you wanted help with. Hard to collect clothes and zoo with Zoogles coming after you, am I right? Well? In that case, why don't we help out with the Zoogles? Clothing is a necessity in adding color to people's lives. That's true. Yeah! All right, then. We'll get rid of those Zoogles for you, and for everyone else in Calaglia, too. Really? That would be much appreciated. I couldn't ask for more. Sure. Just leave it to us. Oh, and one more thing. Earlier, you said something about how you can't place it. You can't place it there? Huh? What was that about? Is there something else bothering you? Uh, no, that was nothing. Just deal with the Zoogles, please. I'll get the clothes back on my own. Uh, right. We're on it. Cast aside. That phrasing has got me especially curious. What exactly can't be placed, and where? Could it have something to do with collecting clothing? I don't know, but something seems off. 
Zugus have been gathering recently, huh? I'm actually see if there's like anything else I can find here. It won't let me go south. That's interesting. So whatever field area that is, they won't even let me go to. What's your problem? What are you looking at? You got something to say about my clothes? You calling me a squalid? Just mind your business. I've lived like this for so many years. I find it comfortable. <laughs> okay. I thought there'd be like a chest or something in that like one house I didn't look in. 